everyone. I wanted to jump on and show you a quick demo of my three favorite uh, skin prep, you could say, products um, that I use on a regular basis. Again, it's the Sally Hansen um, Cream Hair Remover, um, my Tinkle Razors, and the Luminify Drops. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So with the Lumify Drops, I'm just going to do one eye so that you guys can see the difference or to see if you can see the difference okay now we're gonna go into the um, we're gonna let that work into the uh, cream remover so this comes this is a cream that it comes with if you can see there we go and um, like I said I usually use any type of little applicator I can find sometimes I have these little like wooden um, slanted sticks I'm not even sure why I have those or let's just say Q-tip, because that's what most people have. So, the mirror so I can see. Um, what you're gonna do is you're going to put this on, you know, your Q-tip, just a little bit at a time. And again, like I was saying, I do this in between, oops, there we go. I do this in between my eyebrows and it only takes a really thin layer, guys. It's not like a, you don't have to like cake it on there. Um, so like, again, don't worry about caking it on. Just do a little bit here, get the area that you want. The reason I like using a Q-tip is because you can kind of control the application a little bit better than other things. So I try to stick with the Q-tip. Um, then the other place I mentioned I do is my underneath and above and again just a little bit goes a long way and just get it where you would normally wax or however you traditionally treat your eyebrows do it more and again I do this guys because my skin is too sensitive for traditional waxing so I have to you know I had to find an alternative because otherwise my Brows are going a little haywire on me. Okay, so that's that eyebrow. And then we're gonna move to the other eyebrow. And like I mentioned, I think the instructions, follow the instructions, especially your first time. Um, I think they say to use it, um, or to put it on and leave it for, I wanna say eight minutes, something like that. For some reason, the magic number for me is 10. I have no idea why. Um, but don't ever try anything without spot testing it first. So usually on the inside of your wrist is a good place to spot test. And you can just make sure that it's not going to be an issue. So there you go. It's not very pretty, but we're going to leave that on um, while we're doing the rest. So a lot of times too, just for extra, you know, fun for me and help with the bags under my eyes, I usually put some collagen um, eye pads on, but I don't want to do it today because I want to be able to show you guys the razor really well. But again, take advantage. If you're doing all this, you might as well. All right. So I'm not going to do my whole face because I won't have enough time on the video, but I wanted to show you guys how this works. Essentially, this is a little razor. It's a, it's a blade, so you got to be very careful with it. And again, like I mentioned, you just have to barely rub it on the skin and you're what you're doing is you're getting that a uh, peach fuzz and kind of top layer of skin that causes um, dryness and sometimes it causes your makeup to go in kind of funky so this is really helpful for that so again all you're gonna do guys see if I can do it so I can show you is you're kind of just taking the blade and carefully rubbing it down and I do turn a little red so if you get red that's okay too um, but you're basically barely just kind of scraping the top layer to get that dry skin and any peach fuzz like I mentioned. I'm going to try to put this on a black towel so I can show you guys after too. And then same, don't go too close to your eyes. I would pull the skin as tight as you can to get a nice smooth surface to work with and you want to go 
at least I go kind of against the hair growth. Um, that way I know I'm like really picking it up. So like my sideburns here, I like to get those really cleaned up. And then your nose you can do. I don't have a lot on my nose, so I don't usually do too much. I probably do that every other time. And sometimes you kind of might have to play with the angle until you get comfortable. But I'm telling you guys, it's a game changer. And so I also like doing on my jawline and kind of under here, my hair is short, so that shows more than probably a lot of yours. So I wanna get that taken care of. And then like I mentioned, my lip. So I don't wax my lip even, and I don't use the cream on my lip actually because it's too sensitive. Well, it's not too sensitive for the cream. I have used that before, but I wanna show you guys how to use the razor. And so you're literally just going and again, taking that off there. And then I have issues with the corner, so let me show you, pull it tight. And then you can get all that hair nice and smooth. I'll show you guys a close up before so you can see the difference in the hair that is gone now. And this will leave your skin feeling dry. So I'm gonna show you what I use after just to let it kind of recover. So again, I wanted to show you guys this. So this is what all just came off in that brief little time. So I don't know if you can see that well, but it's kind of funky. I hope you're not hating me for showing you that. But again, that's a lot for just a quick little, you know, touch up. And sometimes I'll use this on, you know, I'll have it in my makeup bag in case there's a, oops, sorry, in case there is a, uh, you know, a little area that I notice that I miss and it's bothering me. Um, I'll keep this, you know, in my, uh, toiletry bag at home and then I probably only do this maybe once a month if even that probably probably more like once every two months now that I think about it so again guys these are favorite favorite things um I'm gonna give the eyebrows a little bit longer but while I'm waiting for that there's a couple of things I want to show you too so I mentioned after I take the or finish this the product that I like to use is um to restore the moisture so this is liquid gold guys so this is climate control i haven't activated it yet actually so you got to shake it see how it's dark blue um so this is climate control so climate control has hyaluronic acid in it which i'm sure it's funny all of a sudden the commercials all have that in their um their uh programs but the that's the magic kind of potion in here and there's some other ingredients too that obviously are making it very very um, helpful but this stuff is amazing so this is by Cinegents. this is the same company that makes lip scents um, and I use most of their products for skincare um, and so basically you shake it up see how it's kind of light bluish now that activated it and then you're just gonna I you can spray it on your face but I sprayed it in my hand first and then you're just gonna go back and put it on the areas you just dermaplane. That's it. It feels amazing. It helps you restore the moisture. Um, and you, cause you probably don't want to go wash your face right after dermaplaning. Wait till, you know, later that night before bed or something like that. So, and like I said, redness, that's completely normal. Don't worry about that. That'll go away. The other moisturizing agreement uh, or product that I use all the time on a daily basis, as soon as I wake up in the morning, before I wash my face or put makeup on or anything is my, um, hydrating facial mist. Again, this is also uh, from Synergis. Both of these products will last you forever, by the way. And if you're interested, let me know. I can get them for you. But um, this is just like a hydrating mist that you spray on your face. Um, and it, you can even spray it over makeup, which is what's amazing if you start feeling like you're getting a little dry. Um, but what I really use it for is in the morning when I first get up to kind of resource some moisture while I'm doing breakfast or getting the kids ready. And it makes a huge difference. But again, this is just a spray. Now this one, 
This one I do spray directly on my face and then just rub it in. So again, if you're interested, I can get them both for you together. These are like magic from a moisture standpoint. This is very, very helpful if you have rosacea um, or any type of dry patches. This is um, <clears throat> gonna be kind of ma the magic ticket for you. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys taking off the um, cream hair remover. So I'm just using a little pad. I had uh, wet it a little bit just to moisturize it. And look, this couldn't be easier. Literally, you're just gonna wipe it off and get all of it off. So obviously stay clear of your eyes, try to be aware of that. And let's just see if I got it all off. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then the other thing that comes with that um, cream hair remover kit is a conditioner with collagen protein and so I always put this on afterwards I just shake it up you don't need a lot just like a little bit and you're just going to put it and it kind of soothes the skin where you just used the hair remover all right so those are the products I want to show you now check this out too I don't know if you guys can see it as clearly as I can but this is the eye that I put the lumify in And I don't know if you can see the difference, but like, see the redness right here? It's not there. I know I look crazy and I'm sorry. I just want you guys to see the difference. So this stuff is magic. And if you feel tired, look tired, look drained, have red eyes, I mean, this is like an easy put a drop in and go. You don't need makeup or anything. Um, and you're gonna feel better about it. So actually, let me put it in the other eye so I don't walk around looking weird. Okay. It only takes a couple of minutes. You can kind of see it work. All right. Again, guys, I'm so glad that um, I got to show you those products. I've been asked about those for a while. If you're interested in anything, message me. I can let you know where or how to get it. Um, if it's Cinegents, I can get that for you directly. And then the other products are mostly Amazon or Walmart. So not trying to break the bank here. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. If you have questions about this, let me know. I'm going to go finish the other part of my face and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.